Okay, hi guys. So before I start this actual content video, I just want to show you my scenery. How peaceful is high tide? It's literally high tide today. And look at this guy. Like, he's so incredible. <laughs> he's just in his uh, raft. Is that a raft, right? Or a canoe? And he's just, um, you know, fishing. <laughs> So, yeah, let's get into this TikTok for the day. Um, I am going to be talking more about the Diddy situation, but this time I'm not going to be focusing so much on Diddy. I want to focus more on his children and how everything you do, good or bad, affects your children, okay? <sighs> And for those of you who are not parents or you do not want to be a parent, you can exit the video unless you are trying to understand someone else's, you know, someone else's like life, um, you know, as them being a parent, you know, maybe it's maybe it's your sister or maybe it's your brother or maybe it's your friend. Um, hold on. So, yeah, I'm sorry about that. Uh, there was this guy like sitting on a bench and that's a squirrel. <laughs> Squirrel, you scared me. So, but yeah, I don't like people like watching me while I record. So, so, uh, yeah, let's get into it. So, yeah, I want to talk about the Diddy situation, like I said, but I want to solely talk about his children, you know. I know that the situation that they are currently experiencing with their father being locked up and possibly not getting out is very fucking traumatic and tough for them because number one, they've never seen their father in jail, period. Never, they've never seen their father in that sort of predicament, you know? They've always seen their father use his status, his fame, his wealth to get out of any situation that came across, you know, his way. And for them to see their father stuck in handcuffs behind bars, can you imagine how these children may feel? And I want to first talk about the children who do not also have a mother. Kim Porter is passed on. Which means that they only had their father to care for them. You know, when it comes to like immediate family, you know, mothers, fathers, siblings, you know, and of course they're siblings. But right now I'm just talking about the parents. So Kim Porter is passed on and now he is in jail and how do you think the two twins feel and Christian? Because those are the ones that don't have a mother at this time. Everybody else has a, a parent that's still out in the freedom. Um, the old Quincy. Quincy still has his father. Um, uh, uh, Justin still has his mother. And Chance still has her mother. And Baby Love still has her mother. You see what I'm saying? So it's very tough, the situation that these children are going through. But I just, and, and I am feeling for the other children as well, but I just think it's even more tougher on the twins. Well, is it Jasmine and Lila, right? The two twins and, um, and Christian. But I just want you guys to look at this perspective like this, right? Diddy has worked very hard to get where he has gotten to. You know, I'm not taking away from his work ethic and, you know, his determination to reach success, great success. But with him getting there, he did do a lot of manipulation and lying. And I'm pretty sure he has done fraud and theft. Like people have been people have been calling him out for years, you know, and. But I just want you to understand this, right? God makes no mistakes. Y'all need to know that. What these children, let's say, let's say push come to shove, worst case scenario, he has to do 10 to 15 years, right? Um, what these children will now have to go through, they will now have to go through a chapter of their lives without their fathers, you know, hovering or advice or 
being there to coddle them and baby them and living off of their father's wealth. Because just because your parents have became very rich, wealthy, and successful, that is not your money. That is not your money. And whether he, you know, obviously, he, I'm sure he has set up trust funds and, you know, insurances and things like that. Um, behind his children's lives, you know, when he's long gone, they can get that money. But because Diddy has not been in jail and he has been living his life scotch-free and he has been, you know, fucking just ice skating through life, you know, getting away with murder, to be real with you. Um, I think that this time, this time for the children away from their father is going to allow these children to step into their independency, okay? Because let's think about it. Besides Quincy, who else of Diddy's kids actually have a thriving career? Not Christian. I mean, Christian does try, but his shit does not pop off because he's trying to sound and move just like his father. Justin was playing football, and I guess he just gave that up to live this... I guess just this celebrity, I don't, this celebrity son and, and, and to fuck bad bitches. Like the two twin girls, I mean, they do a little modeling, you know what I'm saying? And baby love, she's a baby. But the only one that actually has a thriving career that we can say for ourselves that we actually see is Quincy. Quincy has acting gigs. He gets gig after gig. Like he's I would say he has a thriving career, you know? It may not be at the top of the toppest, but at least he's doing something to make a make a name for himself, you know? And he's in his own lane um, outside of his father, his adopted father, which is Diddy. So I just want you all to understand that as parents, when we make certain decisions in our lives, every decision has an impact on your children good or bad and just me personally i can speak on just a little bit of my testimony and i never spoke about this but i, I feel like this this may be the right time to speak about it a few years ago i found myself in a situation where i never thought i would be in i was experiencing very bad mental health mental health issues okay and it was so bad that my entire life was thrown upside down, y'all. My daughter had to stay with her, you know, with my brother and sister. I was fucking lost. Like, I didn't know what the fuck was going on in my life. But I got through it. And I'm here today to tell the fucking story. But see, I had to go through that because where I was prior to that moment, I was like obsessing over shit. You know, I was obsessing over shit. I was watching way too much. Like really, that's the guy I was talking about in the beginning of the video. But like, I was, I was obsessing over shit. I was worried about the wrong shit. I was not praying as much as I should have. And you know, people weren't attacking me spiritually and I wasn't as spiritually inclined as I am today. I wasn't as spiritually inclined then, you know, I didn't have all the knowledge that I have now back then, you know, and that's why God allowed the enemy to attack me, you know, in my mind. And I like I was so fucking distorted. Like it was it was incredible. It's incredible how you can one day be all right everything is all right and then in just a fucking switch a switch in time and moment shit your world can be fucked up and, and that shit i'm telling y'all all this i might have to make a part two but i'm telling y'all all this because my decisions right not praying and obsessing over shit that i should have never been obsessing over affected my daughter's life forever where she could barely see her mother for an entire year because I was, I was not in the right place. So what God is doing, God is not only showing Diddy that he needs to fucking change, 
But it is also, God is also preparing his children to start living your dreams, living your life and stop living under your father. 